Hello YouTube and fellow members of the Deacon Deck Regiment. This is Mr. Fisher here with another Deck Tech video. So, if you've seen my Vanguard Deck Tech video, I've explained what I'm doing. Um, because all our Deck Tech videos are currently Magic the Other Commander decks, because they're really fun to explain and to build, so we, we all got super excited about doing Deck Tech videos for them. Um, I've decided to upload a Deck Tech video for each of our other card games. So, I've already recorded the Cardfight Vanguard Deck Tech video for my Pale Moon, Sword Magician Zera build. So up next is my Pokemon deck, which uh, the main strategy is apparently, like half of the deck is apparently an actual tournament deck from like 2012 or 2011 or something. Um, the main idea of the deck is to use Embor. See if I can focus on that. Yeah, so Embor's ability uh, lets me drop as many fire engines as I want during my turn. And then, do, 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 big legendary Reshiram, whose blue flare does 120 damage, but you have to discard two fire energy. So with Embor out, that's not so much of a hassle. Um, there's also a sub-strategy in the deck, which uses uh, Vanillax, because I like the idea of mixing fire and water, and the deck end up as fire and ice, but, um, so Vanillax, his ability, once per turn before my attack, I can swap out my active Pokemon with one of my bench Pokemon. If I do, my opponent also has to do the same. So, it's good if your opponent's got one Pokemon they've beefed up and suited up, um, and you make them keep swapping with any of their other guys and just sniping them. Um, and that's also why we run Pokemon Center, which lets us heal 20 damage off one of our bench Pokemon each turn. Uh, let's both players do it, but it's... It, it overall ends up more beneficial to us because we're using Vanilla X's ability and we're kind of revolving around it. So um, let's go through the deck. We'll start with the energies. Okay, so I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 fire energy because the deck is mostly revolving around uh, Reshiram and Embor and such. So there's 9 of those. We got five water energy, which the deck really needs for like Kyurem. Um Yeah, it's basically pretty much just for Kyurem. Three double colorless energy. Because of Kyurem and Reshiram's outrage abilities, it puts them active straight away. Um, and most of our other Pokemon's attacks need multiple energies of any color, so double colorless energies are great. And then lastly, because I only run two evolution change and everything else is basic Pokemon, Prism Energy. <clears throat> um, most of my attacking is done with basic Pokemon. Like, I don't think I've really ever attacked with either of my evolution change. This lets me provide any color of energy for basic Pokemon. Alright, so the Pokemon. First up, we've got the, the uh, Fire Pokemon. We've got Moltres. Just a cool card. Like, this, this deck isn't overly competitive, like it's a pretty good deck, but it it just runs some cards because they're cool, which is why I run Moltres, and also why I run 17 energy and like 20 something Pokemon, which is apparently way too many. I've got four Reshirams because he's so important in the deck. Four of him is, um, might be one too many, but it's, you know, he goes all right. A lot, of, a lot of games I don't even get to him when I need to, so running four seems good. Uh, three Tepig. Just the start of our evolution chain for the fire side of the deck. Two Pignight, which is the stage one. So Tepig into Pignight into Embor, which we run three of. Because Embor is so important, we want to make sure we can get to him. Which a lot of our trainer cards also help us do. Alright, now the water half of the deck. Again, just for just because they're awesome, we run two Articuno. Uh, two Kyurem which are basically our Reshirams 5 and 6. Um, they don't have the blue flare, but the Outrage ability is pretty good. Um, it's it's one of the better ways of taking out EX Pokemon in this current build, so... You know, letting letting the EX Pokemon hit you for a fair bit and then hitting them back for a little bit more. EX Pokemon are hard to take down, I think, in this deck tends to struggle with it a bit. Then we've got our own EXs, we've got two Kyurem Xs, which are just in here again because I have them and they're cool and they fit in the deck, so why not? Alright, then our evolution chain for the water or ice side. Three Vanillites, which are our basic Pokemon. 
two vanillish, which is our stage one, and two vanillox, which is our stage two. Um, the reason for the numbers in this, like only two at the top end, whereas our embols had three, is because embols actually really pivotal to the deck. Vanillox is kind of a sub strategy. And um, in case you haven't noticed, I run more, like, I run lower numbers of the stage one than I should, which a lot of decks that run evolution chains do because they all run rare candies, which mine does. So, uh, now we'll go to the trainer cards. First, the just trainers. We got two energy retrieval. Because of blue flare and stuff, we tend to drop a lot of energy, so energy retrieval is always good. And the fact that it has a fire and a water energy in the picture is just flavorful and awesome. Uh, one heavy ball. Heavy ball is only able to search up three different Pokemon in the deck. It can search up Pignite, which we don't use most of the time, uh, Emball, which is the reason Heavy Ball's in the deck, or it can search up Cure MX, which is just, if I've got Emball out already, might as well get Cure MX, because he, he's pretty powerful. Uh, two Pokemon Communications. It's in here for the same reason as Heavy Ball, just a tutor. Like The difference is Pokemon Communication can get your Emball, it can get your Tepig, it can get Reshiram, uh, it can get Vanillux which the Heavy Ball can't, unfortunately. So, just in there to tutor for a Pokemon to help fix any of your evolution chains, or to get Reshiram out, or whatever. Three rare candies, because we run two evolution chains that both need, that both, um, you know, only run two of the stage one. Um, yeah, three rare candies to make sure we can hit our evolution chains, and hopefully hit it on, like, turn two, so that we can just load Reshiram up with Fire Energy and use Blue Flare and just wipe out our opponent's field. And the last trainer card is Super Rod, which lets us shuffle three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy from our discard pile back into our deck. Again, just because I discard so many energies, energy recursion is fantastic. Okay, now with the supporter cards, we run Bianca, which uh, draws cards until you have six in hand. So, you know, once once Emble's out, you use up all your energy, so it just helps refill your hand. Uh, two Sharon, which just draw three cards. Yeah, draw power, always good in Pokemon. Uh, Silent, search your deck for three basic energy cards and add them to your hand. Kind of speaks for itself with Embor. Uh, interviews questions, look at the top eight cards of your deck, choose as many energy cards as you like, show them to your opponent, and put them in your hand. So it's kind of Silent, but I think it's actually probably worse. I don't know, it's probably better in my deck because I run a lot of energy, but when I shouldn't, I don't know. And last but not least is Pokemon Center, which is the combo with Vanillux. Which, you know, isn't a necessarily crazily powerful combo, but um, because I don't run, like, Bianca and the two the two Sharons are really my only draw power. I suppose Silent as well. But a lot of decks run, like, at the moment, this deck doesn't run a lot of draw power. A lot of decks run, like, Professor Oak's New Theory. Well, it's not really as much draw power, but, like, Professor Oak's New Theory, Professor Juniper and stuff, they're going to be drawing heaps. So with the sub-strategy, it's kind of, if we haven't got our aggressive strategy in one already, we use the sub-strategy, stall that, and our opponent decks out. It was kind of unintentional, it just kind of worked out that way, and now I kind of uh, focus on it a little bit more, because it has been successful in the past. So, okay, that's my Pokemon deck tech video. Coming up next will be my Yu-Gi-Oh deck tech video. Um, all three of these videos will probably be uploaded over the weekend. Um... Yeah, I'll probably upload them all this weekend, so they should be up by next week. So, um, for anyone that is in the Deacon Deck Regiment, the decks the decks that I'm reviewing for each card game are the ones that I'm actually running in the tournament at Deacon. So, you know, if you want an upper hand, I suppose that helps. <laughs> um, but I won't be doing my Magic one because we already have a heap of Magic Deck Tech videos. So, feel free to subscribe, comment, let us know what you think, um, let me know what you want to see. As far as Vanguard deck goes, with the last year, I forgot to say this at the end, I've also got uh, two Oracle Think Tank decks, one revolving around um, Tsukiyomi, one revolving around the Solus build with Coco, and I've got a Dark Regular build that focuses on Reshi. So if you want to see either of those, let me know. Probably should have mentioned this in the Vanguard video. I might add it as a comment or a, a um, one of those little speech bubbly thingies, whatever they're called. Um, as far as... Pokemon Goes is the only deck I have currently. I'm designing another one. Um, and when I do, I'll probably have to take some cards out of this one, so this one will probably change as well. So that probably won't be happening for another few months. So when it does, I can upload videos of them as well. Um, and with Yu-Gi-Oh, I'll be uploading a fish macro deck. 
So a, a roof play fish deck, also known as ban fish or banish fish or whatever. Um, but I've also got a, a fish OTK deck, which just swarms with synchros and XYZs. Uh, I've got an X-Saber deck. So if you want to see any of those, let us know in the comments or whatever. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the videos. The Ugo will be coming up as well, so feel free to check that out. Thanks, YouTube and DDR. Bye, bye, bye.